What is up guys, it's Bolt98 and in this video we're going to be talking about all the upcoming Season 5 bundles to come. First, let's get into Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg's release date is set for August 7th. We've talked about him a lot on the channel, so we know what he's offering. Dark Rituals 3 is another one coming August 5th. So two days after Snoop Dogg, we'll already begin a new bundle, which is the Dark Rituals 3. Then we'll get our next Pro Pack, the Gunslinger Ghost Pro Pack, which includes our 2400 COD points August 9th, which will come with a Ballistic... Pistols, AR, some stickers, and of course the 2400. Then we get our next elemental pack, August 11th, which is Ice Flow, basically, basically sort of like our other elemental was fired. This one's Ice, basically all her stuff will be Ice. Then we hop over to our Executive Warfighter 3 pack, which comes out August 14th. So these are all the bundles coming out in Season 5, minus Season 5 Reloaded. Now let's hop over to Warzone and the new quest. Yes, Vondale's Champion Quest, where you get the Lockman sub, emblem, sticker, and a calling card for winning 5 BR matches in a row and then getting the nuke. These are your rewards. Not that great, but rewards are free. So if you can do it, go ahead and do it. Then we talk about our Modern Warfare 3 reveal event, which begins in 55 days. Yes, 55 days from when this announcement was posted was when we were getting the Modern Warfare 3 announcement i don't know exactly when this is posted but we did find a bit of a darker image that actually shows the exact date which is august 17th in warzone it says it is in warzone now i'm not sure 100 percent on this one because we have been leaked to be uh told that it was going to be in dmz we've been rumored not leaked but rumored to be in dmz but based off this leak in rumor it is in warzone now you might be wondering for the reveal rewards you'll be getting the new ar m13c a car skin calling card emblem bp tokens and weapon jar bp token of course being battle pass tokens so basically tier skips and stuff like that that you can get from doing this worldwide reveal which is going to be huge i believe like and if they do it through Warzone, I wonder how that's going to work. But here's a new Modern Warfare 3 logo that we just found. It looks super cool. I think this kind of goes deeper into confirming maybe some zombies. I don't know exactly. It just looks cool. And I kind of got a zombie vibe from it. So let me know down below if you also felt that way. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the reveal is going to be... It should be in Warzone, apparently. Now, now, it can very much be in DMZ. I think it makes more sense to be in DMZ because... DMZ, you already go in with like three people max. You are doing missions throughout DMZ. It just makes more sense to do it through there. Except the fact that if you do it through Warzone, you can of course get way more players in there at once. So with Warzone, you could get up to like 99 players in one lobby and do the whole reveal event. The only thing there is you have to worry about turning PvP off and all the extra stuff there. Which you have to do that in DMZ. But it might just be a tad bit easier. Um... We don't really know. We just kind of know that it's either in Warzone or DMC. And based off further and further rumors and leaks, it's looking like it may be Warzone. So, we're not 100% sure, but for the most part, we are excited. Yes, I am very excited to see what they have in store. Like I said, 9% nine nine of 10%, 90% of me out of 100%, sorry, I'll do it that way. 90% of me believes that it is going to be zombies that come in, and I do believe that it will be in DMZ. Um, so that's just what I guess. I'm guessing DMZ, zombies, and that is what we'll get. But I'm super excited to see what this M13C looks like, So just because it is a new gun, and I'm super excited to see what we could do with it. And obviously with this coming out on August 17th, that is only approximately 14 days from the day that I'm recording this. 13 days from the day that this goes live, so not too much longer, and we'll already be getting that Warzone 3 reveal, which is crazy because once they do the reveal, you're going to expect in sometime in September to actually get the next uh, Call of Duty Next event, which is like an event where they invite a bunch of YouTubers and content creators to come and play Warzone and all the other COD Modern Warfare 3 features early, so we'll be getting a lot of gameplay there, and no, I obviously know I probably won't be getting a copy of that yet. Because I'm not there at that level. But one day I will be. And I'll bring tons of content. Even if it is on Modern Warfare 6. But we will be breaking down any type of content I can find on Modern Warfare 3 during the next event. So I'm super excited to break down all the content. Break down the reveal event. I'm going to be posting the real event, reveal event uh, on my channel. I will record the whole thing and then post it on my channel. As just like a raw, unedited kind of. So you get the experience if you didn't make it into it. Because I know some will not be able to make it. Uh, unless there has been rumored, again, another rumor, that they hold it open for a few days. So people who don't make it on the exact day and time can possibly go in and do it again. Maybe it'll be its own play tab. That is only some things that we can wish will happen with this. Because this is like a limited time thing, yes. But it'd be cool if they could do like a limit. You know how you can click DMZ or Warzone. It'd be cool if you could click Warzone Live Event. 
and that be its own tab instead of clicking Warzone, Resurgence, Warzone Solos, you can click Warzone, and then there's own tab, live event that stays open for maybe three whole days, just so people can all have a chance to actually get in on the event, because there's so many different schedules around the world and stuff, so this would make more sense. I don't know if they'll do it, because it is supposed to be a live event, and regardless, you're going to get leaks and all that stuff coming out during the event, so maybe they'll just do one time, I'm not sure. But I promise you, it will be on my channel for sure because I am going to try to bring all the content I can, especially surrounding Modern Warfare 3 since we've been building up the channel based on Modern Warfare 3, so I don't want to stop. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the Modern Warfare 2 Season 5 content. Also, thank you so much for all the support. We are at 540 already. We just hit 500. 500 I didn't think I was going to hit till the end of this month, and now we may even hit 600 before we're halfway through the month. I'm not putting any jinx on it. My goal is 600 at the end of the month. But of course, my ultimate goal is 1,000 by the new year. So if you guys can you know, help that happen by sharing this video, liking, and subscribing, that would mean the world to me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And let me know down below any type of ideas, comments, or pretty much anything you want to see on the channel or anything you thought about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. And yeah, hope you have a great day, guys. See ya.